I'm going to share with you how to use Active Presenter. Active Presenter provides all tools you need for multiple e-learning purposes, such as creating interactive slide-based courses, software simulations, assessments, educational games, and training videos. This is going to be very basic because I'm just going to show you how to use it very basically and to record your screen and yourself if you want. And it's available on this very website atomysystem.com so all you need is just to come over here and just come down here to download the version that you are working with if you are on mac operating system you can download it from here if you are on windows operating system as well you can download it from here so it's a very cool feature that you can use to generate your own videos you can edit videos just like the way you edit your document okay it's very easy and fantastic to use so once you download and install it's very easy and straightforward the folder is not even large so you can just come down here to your launch pad and just search for active presenter which you will see over here you can just launch it so at the launch of active presenter you have the option to start from templates okay it just looks like powerpoint because you can have see the templates you can work on in powerpoint and then from there you can record your screen and do many many more things you can start from blank page or you can go ahead and record a video directly from here by just selecting record a video or you can record a software simulation you can record an ongoing software simulation very easy and um, responsive project or if you can if you have a powerpoint somewhere and you want to make a video out of it maybe to tutor people to show people how to use something you can import that particular powerpoint into this and you can make a video out of it you can convert it to a video or you can open an existing project if you have it so saved somewhere so for this tutorial i'm going to start from a blank page which you can start from here or you can just uh, double click to just click start and you can see you are now on a blank page this is the canvas where you can do import all your footage and then down here you have the timeline where you have the slides and any other thing maybe text folder or something you can have everything here so you can do some basic editing or whatever you touch you can see its properties over here so for example at this one you can touch on slide 2 and you can um, the placeholder text placeholder 2 and be able to add or remove text and you can check out its properties over here and you can see the same thing with placeholder one and you can add and play around with them as you so wish so like i said this is behaving just like microsoft powerpoint because you have all the features like the home tab you have all the text features the paragraphing the font style and everything you can do you can increase sizes you can play around with text fonts and all that you can insert equations you can do all sort of things uh, just like the way you do in microsoft powerpoint you can have different kind of layouts in cases when you are going to increase or add number of slides you can always right click and add slides or move slides across you can do all that from here so but for now um, you have the insert button where you can insert multiple things okay from objects to equations to spotlights to text captions you can add questions over from here as well and you have different kind of designs just like the way you have in powerpoint you have multiple designs you can include different kind of themes if you want and as you hover over them you'll be able to see the impact that it's going to have on your design and you have different kind of transitions in cases when you want to transit from one slide to the next you can have it you can have animations as well in cases when you have different kind of features that you want to animate or you want to move across you'll be able to insert the different animations that you may have okay and play around with them but this is going to be very basic like i said so we're going to come back to home and again from here from active presenter if you want to open an existing you can import a powerpoint you can still do from here or you can do responsive or record a video or software simulations just like we've explained earlier or you can save as this very particular document and it's going to be saved in active presenter mode so that later on you can always open and work with it so the first thing i usually do is to create a name for this project for example so we can just give this trial one and we can make it in um, this format okay it's going to save in active presenter format we just need to define the location that we want to save as as mean i want it to be saved in this location i can just go ahead and say okay now what i want to do is i want to record my screen this is the most basic why i start the tutorial i want to show you how to record your screen so from the home tab over here you can see record screen over here so you can come to this small drop down you can record a video again from here or you can record software simulation so let's say we are going to record a video and it's going to pop up over here so you have the 
option to record your full screen if you want to record full screen or you can record custom screen location so the custom screen means you have to define the sizes if you have the length and width you can easily define it but if you don't have you can manually come to the edges over here of this line and you can just uh, go ahead and extend to cover the field or the area that you want to record usually for my recordings i can define any location but i used to do 1920 by 1080 which usually defines close to the entire screen but then you can check also other sizes uh, other sizes from here you can have small medium wide sizes you can see full hd which is 1920 by 1080 but if you want to record full screen it's usually uh, 1792 by 1120 this is the full one okay but once you select this it's going to record the entire screen and then you can lock, lock the uh, lock to application. You can lock this if you want. And you can check. You can lock this to Google or to any other application that you have open if you want. So it's very cool to try this. And then next you have the webcam option. You have the option to record without a webcam. Or if you want to record, you can choose to select a particular webcam that you're working with. Uh, let me enable my webcam. So this is my my camera, computer camera webcam. Here you can see and you can see the preview from here if you want to enable you can see the preview of the webcam but at this tutorial at this point i don't want to show my first so i just uh, close and then down here you have the audio features you can select uh, the audio feature you can select which of the audio device you want to record with but for my for my own tutorial i want to use road nt usb so i just select it and it's now the recording device for this recording and you can play around with the volume also, uh, if you want increase or decrease from here so once you set up everything you can just go ahead and click on record if you want to record directly or you can come to settings over here to have a more look at other basic settings other recording settings you can click on recording settings and you'll be able to see these are audio and video settings you'll be able to see these video settings you can change accordingly the quality the frame rate and all the, also the video codec you can just go ahead and play around with with them but everything i usually leave at default this is the audio settings and this is the webcam settings okay in cases if you want to include cursor settings for example you want to record with mouse cursor you can enable it for tutorials it's usually advisable and then you can have the make cursor editable for full uh, motion recording you can also include that and cursor effects you can off it if you want or you can on it depending if you want to show it on your recordings and then you can automate uh, panning okay you can make capture window for a window follow mouse also okay you can just uh, enable this if you want but at any given point if you are not starting with whatever you selected you can always re restore back to default and it's going to restore back to default then we have the hot keys over here if you want to customize other hotkeys you can just enable some keyboard settings maybe you can put in some hotkeys like lr or, or any other thing you can define the shortcut for pause resume stop and cancel you can define them from here you can do that even custom you can customize it to your liking okay so if you don't want any also you can always restore back to default so this is just some more advanced uh, settings that you can also visit to set before you start recording so once you are certain with what you have and you want to start recording all you need is just to press the red button to start recording your video and you can just go ahead and say okay to record this and right now you can see after the timer you can now you are now recording so we are recording this screen you can see now we are going to read something uh, we are recording this very screen that we are working on we can go to other tabs as well to record to to look at other things okay because at the moment you are recording this we are recording everything uh, we can see over here so once you are done we are done recording we are done with explainer video or explaining what you want to explain and you want to stop or want to pause you can always come to the top of your screen over here and you see active present presenter logo you can just click on it then you have the option to you can see the process okay how much time you have recorded and you can have the option to stop to pause or to stop or to cancel the recording on its own so let's say at this point i'm done with the recording i want to stop so i can just press on the stop button and everything is now going to open in my in my recording okay so i can say okay to this and so everything is now being imported in my project okay like you can see it now in a fresh slide so all what we have recorded is here and you can see down here while we are selecting this slide you have the option to check out this slide 
and this is the audio and this is the video that we have recorded okay this is the video and this is the audio and this is the video so anyone you select you will be able to see its properties over here and you can go ahead and play around with the properties as appropriate so you can see this is the video you have the option to check out its properties like the video properties the cursor effect and the green screen effect if you want maybe later i will make a detailed tutorial on how to use this uh, green, green screen effect and even text to speech effect you can see the audio uh, option also once you select the audio option it will bring in the audio properties over here and you can be able to play it and hear it and if you have some text maybe you want to do some voiceover you can paste in the text select a reader and it will to, to read up uh, the particular text for you and then you can add it for you in, uh, into the timeline and down here you have the option in the timeline you have the option to do some very basic editings for example you can play now to hear what you have recorded and right now you can see after the timer you can now you are now recording so we are recording this screen you can see now we are going to read something uh, we are recording this very screen that we're working on you can go to other tabs as well to record to to look at other things okay because at the moment you are recording this we're recording everything uh, we can see over here so you can see it's very clear we are we've recorded the screen and you can see the clarity and everything is cool and intact you can decide to have the option to pause or you can stop the playing and always stop the playing if you want to stop and everything will go back to normal you have the playhead you can just navigate anywhere you can just with just a click you have the playhead at that particular location so if you don't want to you can do some very basic things from here for example you can zoom in and out zoom in to fit or zoom into a particular location if you want to zoom to a particular location or you can zoom in to zoom out or you can zoom to fit and have everything fit within your screen and then you have other options like you can cut a range or you can delete or copy a range for example you can use this uh, uh, side of the playhead to select a given range and if you select a given range you can cut that particular range from here by just selecting this you can just click on cut a range or you can copy this particular range and paste it somewhere or you can delete this range if you don't want it you can always delete the range okay and you can see you've deleted that particular range and you can always undo in cases where you don't want you can see you have deleted a given range and then you can do other multiple things like you can um, split a given section okay you can come over here and split audio and the recording on the video section also you can just click and you can see you have now split it you can now have see now you have two sections okay of this particular recording the video and the audio you've split it into two sections you can move the playhead as well to other locations and you can do the same split as well and then you can split them so and if you like you can select the, the both of them that you have uh, this point and you can just delete or you can copy and paste them somewhere or you can do ripple delete if you want you can still do ripple delete also here okay so you can do uh, as many things because uh, the deleting using the side of the playhead also can give you ripple delete if you want select that particular range and you come over here and say delete a range okay delete a range and it's going to give you a ripple delete because it's going to delete it and it's going to cover the the place that you have deleted okay so you can see now it has deleted and covered the range uh, of the place it has just deleted it has done a ripple delete for you so this is just the, uh, the most basic you can play around with the uh, speed up okay change the playback speed also from here you can just go ahead and play around with the playback speed and you have the option to play around with the sizing or you can change in the fading and out of the audio over here so and many other features that you can go ahead and play around with but then you can just go on to keep trying to keep seeing what and what you can edit in terms of the video and you can do trimming also from the edges of any of the section of this uh, video of the clip that you want you might come to the edge over here and just trim it like this okay or you can trim from the audio section also you can select and you can trim just like so to any section okay or the slides you can trim if you want to from any of the edge so you can just go ahead and give it a try and see what and what you can do on your own to play around with some of the features and see the benefits okay and then at the top here you can insert different things like i've explained you can insert different kind of questions designs animations and other and then the most important part is you can export 
the video okay once you come to export you can come over here you can export as an image or you can export as a video or pdf which are the main ones that you can export but if you want to try other e-learning platforms also you can check them from here but then for this tutorial we're just going to export a video and over here you can have the different kind of uh, general features that you can uh, define as regards the exporting process like the video pro uh, video properties which we have explained earlier on okay so you can see right now we can select the frame rate you can change the quality and exporting features and then like select location where you want to save it directly like we've explained earlier on okay it's going to be saved over here but if you have any place in mind you can change and export from that uh, that place as well and you can change the exporting format the file format you can have the mp4 the avi uh, the webm you can change as you so wish but usually i go with mp4 so once you set in everything to your standard you can just go ahead and click on ok and it's going to export your video and you can listen to it just like we've explained okay so this is the very basic uh, usage how to use this um, active presenter to record your videos and even your slides to import your slides and convert them into videos but then you can go just go ahead and give it a try this is just the most basic thing the most basic tutorial i hope you learned something today um, if you do kindly remember to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to always hit the subscribe and notification buttons to stay connected to this channel for more and more videos like this. So let's take a look at the pricing in cases if you are interested to purchase this software. So let's take a look at the pricing over here, Active Presenter. If you're interested, this is how much it goes because it's all in one. It's expensive. It's a bit expensive, but it's very, very excellent. You can see the Pro, this is the standard version. And these are the different kind of features that you may have access to if you subscribe okay and then you have the educational um, the educational discounts as well so you can check out the educational pricing over here and you can see you can go for the educational one you can go for as, as low as this so if you're interested you can just go ahead i'll leave the link in the description you can just go ahead and click to have it so for educational purpose you have students teachers and staffs educational institutions non-profit institutions you can just subscribe over here usually using the uh, institution's account uh, email account okay so you can just get the discount and you have it for yourself so feel free to just go ahead and, and click the link i will leave the link in the description if you are interested and i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one bye